How you doing? Oh, what a camper trip that was. Gone for four days. Wild. Oh, just kind of got up there and dropped in, got a site. And then I had two nights booked, so that was pretty cool. And uh, saw the grandkids and my daughter and her old man there. They're up working and everyone's working. It's so awesome. They're all working. So I was pretty happy about that. And I uh, got back here and dead koi on the fish on the floor one of the camper trips that I went to when I first bought koi I bought two little koi and um, they're really nice bought those with my daughter and so far they both jump now the guy said to me well they jump we know that fish jump let's just blow off a little more of this water here it was really smelling pissy because it's gone so long, I haven't been doing any water changes. I'm been slipping a bit. Got that filter all hooked up, got the sprayer bar working a lot better, but I still haven't really cleaned it out well again. And it's just something you gotta do regularly, and I gotta clean out my other one. I was gonna clean it out, it was scheduled to be cleaned out a lot before I went, but that's when those little fry were in there and stirring it all up and there was nothing to really sump out quite clean out I cleaned out what there was in the corners but everything else has been stirred up so now that I got the grandkids here for a bit I'll show them and teach them how we clean out the, uh, the solids catch and I'll show them how we clean out the uh, fine particles catch and maybe we'll get some footage of that and we'll see how that goes but it's just sad because find a dead Koi is sad. He's about that big, you know. I don't know how big is that big. Not as big as that. <laughs> All right. So I don't know who lo who's been following along. Uh, I'm waiting for some shout outs. So the automatic feeder is still working. Stuff just kind of hangs out, slowly falls in. And I think that's what the problem is. You see, after that period of time, four days, they just the smallest one got stressed out. And if that's what they do is jump, then I guess they jump. Now, for goldfish, this fence was awesome. Because when they're little, they couldn't jump that fence. Apparently, boy can. Time to upgrade the fence, I guess. I'll put a lid on it. I think upgrading the fence would probably be better, because then at least then you could see down into the tank. You'd be like, way up here. Hey, look down over the fence. But, yeah, I just wrapped this stuff around twice. Did it once, wrapped it around, and then after a while, there were so many cuts in it for me making modifications and trying to put pipes in and because I didn't have these with before. The pipes had to go over the side. So I was always cutting the holes and stuff. So I wrapped another full layer and then zap strapped it together. So now that it's two layers, it's duct tape, it's held on there. I'll have to fix my clamping and then extend it. One more band up, or two more bands up. Let's see, be a project. Another project. Oh great, another project. Just what I needed. Huh. Will it pay me any money? No. Save me money? Yeah. Did I lose money because I didn't do it before? Yeah. So these are the stresses of Daniel. Always having to do something. It's like cutting the lawn. You know, or mowing the, mowing the carpet. Yeah, you gotta mow the carpet all the time, but do you look around, is anybody paying you for mowing the carpet? No, yeah, you gotta get all those rocks and grit and everything up off the carpet and the dust and the cat hairs and all right, gotta mow the mow. Stress to Daniel. Look outside, there's a tree falling across my trail. Oh, now, who's gonna cut that up? Two more trees, the other one, they've been there for a while. Okay, I gotta do that, stress to Daniel. So we all got it, we all got the stress, we all got shit we got to do. Now I just add to my plate and I got to try to go get myself some more income. So if anybody would willing to sponsor or think they got a good idea or what they'd like to see or what kind of content they're looking for, please leave a comment. Thumbs up, 
Click the little button there, the thumbs up button. It makes it go thumbs up so that watch it to the end. Watch my videos to the end. Got it. Watch them to the end. I don't care if you leave it on the table upside down. Please. If you take the time to watch one of my videos, watch them to the end. Because apparently that's what makes it happen. And I so got to do those things that need to make it happen. I think I told you this one too. I bought this goldfish here food. Koi goldfish food. Pumps drowned and out. Hang on, let's get over there. Run. 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 I'm going to shut off that water discharge before we... Uh, See, I got some white gritty stuff down there. Get in there. Reach down there. Get that white stuff off that. See, I got a piece of wood in there. See? Yeah, when you put wood in there, you got to get a white red wood or whatever wood it is from the store. That's where I got mine. And it releases talons. Man, this terrible video, Daniel. Camera dirty. Like I said, we're camping. Remember, my videos are raw. Raw, I tell you, raw. That's a little better. There you go. Yeah, so a piece of wood will make your water a little bit browner, but that will reduce your pH. Brings it down. Because that's just like anything, it's a little swampy. And a big old piece of wood. Got from the store, or if you know what wood you need to get. Yeah, I ever learn the exact. It's like a root, right? And it's been aged. So the pitch is all gone out of it. So yeah. So I bought that years ago. And as soon as it stops releasing talons and making the water get stinky again and not be brown, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna just take it out. Run off some water, put it in there. See it even catches the plastics. It's interesting. Oh get this! Get this, I was watching this thing. I was watching this thing, and it was about um, the Earth now has created its own microbes that are eating plastic. They know how to break down the carbon cells in plastic so that they can break apart the good stuff and they can eat it. Isn't that crazy? There's that, that now they're just gonna be microbes will be in the ocean. And of course, the Japanese are the ones that figured it out because they had a big old pile of plastic there. And they're like, ew, why is it gooey? I played in it, yeah. So, really weird talking to everybody. I gotta start doing some better. Anyways, I got stuff to do. Tessa Daniel, cheers.